was the response all had to do with that the party? Uh, it all had a response to do from the Koala comment about that party. And the reaction then to the school was to attempt to shut down the free speech for all the media organizations that were funded through the Associated Students. By the way, real quick, I just want to get them. Oh, no, I, just, I have them. Did you get them? Yeah. All right, thank you. And there's actually one just from an from alumni of California Review on top. Cool, thanks. Cover. Hey, very important principle. I'm glad to hear that you're uh, willing to run. Yeah. No, I'm, uh, I originally didn't want to because there's just the I understand. Yes, I hate. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Somebody has to do it, and I'm glad it's somebody that's got a hat on their shoulders. So. Thanks, man. Yeah, I appreciate it a lot. He's doing a big thing. He's doing a big thing. Turn it. I mean, this has nothing to do with free speech. Nothing to do with censorship. Okay. I was wondering if I could actually have a good conversation. Because I was really intrigued. Yeah, but I'm not on camera. Uh, okay. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Go ahead. It's all about um, the criteria we use to fund media organizations, our association's own process of funding media orgs. Any media organization still published on campus, no media organizations are shut down. It's not an issue of free speech, it's an issue of funding. Um, one, one last point on that. Uh, can you promise me that no org will be getting money? Like, no media org. It's, it's all everyone's shut down, right? Right now. It's not a content. Because there's been reports of like some people still getting money. What is your position on the shutdown of the media funding? I'm really um, uh, happy to let Winsock manage that situation. I'm a long time free speech advocate, but funding is more yeah. Although, according to all the court cases, it happens, or they haven't ruled as being the exact same to find the new organization and the new organization. Good for you, then. Good for you, then. For the university to allow university funds to be allocated to an organization that incites hate and that that does these kind of things, it doesn't provide me equal protection, which is a violation of the 14th Amendment. You know what I'm saying? Equal protection. Equal protection under the law because this is a public... From what? From, because from this it is being inconvenient for you to read those or hear those things? And it is inconvenient to be sure, but it because certainly doesn't make you any less of American. But a public institution shouldn't be endorsing something that, that incites hate against me. As, as an that's why there's a big a fat person. disclaimer in every single publication in UCSC. The views represented are not endorsed by in any way by that's AS really or the But university. they are endorsed that's because student fees go to it. Actually, well, you can pull your student fees from it, but everyone else's student fees go to it. They're automatically done. They're automatically, but you can well, actually, actually, but everyone else's student fees. But how many people do you can't pull your student fees from it. Let me clarify that. You can't pull your student fees. Well, that's up to you. You can get your money back, but the money is not actually physically being pulled from it. And convince enough people to do it. That's how a democracy with a bill of rights but zero funding all media organizations is part of part of the like content neutrality. I do think you talk about this. Sit down at the table with the koala editor and convince him intellectually and rationally that they're wrong. I don't know. It's not gonna, you know it's not gonna too hard. You know that's not gonna happen. You know all they want to do is publish that. But the university has a duty to, to not put forward that stuff. They have a duty to me because I'm a student here at a public institution and I have rights in the How 14th it, Amendment. What are, what the Constitution doesn't give any duties. My right to equal protection under the law that, that, that I have a right How, you're not, to. You're not getting equal protection under the law I'm not because getting the koala protection. can publish what they want? That yes, I'm not getting equal protection because the university uses funds to give to the koala to make threats against me. I, I just want That's you to equal protection. I, I, I want That's you to a threat. A lynching is a threat. I just want to, I want, just want to sorry, tell you something guys. No, 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 hold on. In the deep south, when there when there is a lot of racism, civil rights, the civil rights only got passed because of the First Amendment. 
the white people would have seen things. They would have seen black, uh, you know, you know, wanting blacks wanting civil rights as offensive to them. They saw that it completely offensive. And the only reason that we're out here really is because we're trying to protect that First Amendment. That's the only reason why we got civil rights in this country. The guy who made the First Amendment and the only people, thought that people like me were not human. He didn't make sex with him. It means we need to look at another amendment like the 14th that was made during Reconstruction that was made for people like me in mind that for my rights. We need to look at that amendment instead of one that was made for people that weren't for me. But the 14th Amendment, the Due Process Clause of the 14th Amendment has incorporated the First Do you... Do I think the words are racist? Do not agree that the Bill of Rights was created by racist human beings? Was created by racist people. I agree with that. Okay, why didn't you say that the first time? I wasn't yeah, sure if that's what you said. I was just asking you to repeat it. I wasn't sure. Yeah. The Bill of Rights is racist. Oh, are, that's the next step that we disagree with. Well, you have to admit that back then it was racist. No, was it we not? admit that the people right. creating them was. No, no, no. Is it racist today? No, no, no. Is it racist today? That's what's Are you insinuating that you want to get rid of the Bill of Rights in general? The society that exists to perpetuate is racist. So, yes. But do you just want to have the Constitution and not have a republic? Then you have to. Do you realize though that he, he's starting his argument based off of history? I am. So you're going to start it based off of history and you have to so extrapolate from each. My question to you is are you insinuating we should throw out the Constitution and the Bill of Rights? Hey, open up what? my deck. Are you insinuating yeah. we throw out the Constitution and the Bill of Rights because no. they're too racist? No. And that's what it, that's what it sounds no, like. I, You're fine, that. The very first thing I said yeah, was that the I'm Bill of Rights, rights today, right. as yeah. it stands, is not racist. It's true. That's a that's an there's a it's a problem on our part. Are we sure you have a lawsuit on their hands? Yeah. Is, uh, are we sure that the collective voice you got funded? For yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. So that's not good. I'm gonna yes. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, so you guys might dodge a bullet, but the school is gonna be so collective voice got right published. Now. Okay, Collective Voice is funded through the AS Spaces. Pot of Funds, Spaces. through Space with Spaces, which is in turn funded through the AS Pot of Funds. Yeah. They were able to print. Yeah. So even though you're silent, to, you know, so we have a serious right, right. Yeah. issue. There's also a much bigger issue that you guys keep contending that he's, uh, because he, because the con second article of the Constitution is the real reason why he froze funds, there's nothing in the standing rules that actually say that the Constitution can be called uh, yeah. as a reason to freeze funds. It's true. And he cited two pretty nebulous doctrines, too. He, he's this using his uh, authority to, like, make rulings in the spirit of the rules. No, no. And if someone wants to contest yeah, that, that doesn't say that in the uh, standing. Yeah, it's true. It's kind it of, only says that in the Constitution. I believe really it says awesome it in me. Robert's Rules, though, in Robert's Rules, it's not the subsidiary. Uh, Robert's Rules is not the governing the document. Yeah, yeah. No, no, there's, sure. there's, there's, there's a section in our standing rules that say anything not covered in Robert's Rules is, you know, governed by So things should probably go talk to the chancellor. Yeah, where's the room? behind you. Right behind the room. Oh, very much be soon for something right now. The fact that, um... Well, I always forget the name. Collective Voice. Collective Voice. Uh, Collective Voice published, which is funded uh, through Spaces, which in turn funded through the A's pot of money. Um, well, they were able to publish when you know 32 other or 33 other student uh, organizations have their fees frozen. Can be seen to have serious bias in uh, the standards. What do you think about that? You know, I've been very supportive of AS trying to work this out through their own structures. And I, think, mm -hmm. I think you'll remember one of their ideas was that publications do affiliate with different organizations. Yeah. Nobody has way to do it. So yeah. I think that, you know, seemed like a, a, a thoughtful yeah. idea worth pursuing. And it seems like in this case, that's the lady that's worked for that. Um, I mean, but I mean, the, the situation at hand is that the whole team at the university is a lawsuit right there for being so strong bias in uh, their funding process. What do you think? Um, I think it would be an interesting case to see decided in the courts. Um, yeah, I'm all for the ACLU filing that. Again, we're letting, you know, this is an AS matter, as you well know, and so we're letting them work yeah. to start the case. No, I, mean, I hope it's determined in the courts. Yeah, well, I'd like to set precedence on this so it can't happen again. I, I disagree with what uh, is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they call them good stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah. How you been? Yeah. Yeah. We've been talking to you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks very much. Yeah. Nebulous answer from Penny Rue. What happened? She was like, uh, spaces. But uh, she basically was just like, oh, this is an AS matter, and I think it should remain an AS. So she just threw the administration. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even realize that.